Honestly, I'm obsessed with highlighters. I'm obsessed with them. But yes, yeah, so today I created this look. It was really like freestyle. I just came up with this look on camera. Um, I did use a lot of drugstore, a lot of affordable. I did use some high-end products, but only a few. A lot of these products I did actually buy today. And I was testing them out and I really did like them. Um, you guys know I love to give you guys affordable products that be like high-end type of products um, so yes also I hit 50k you guys I hit 50k I hit 50k like honestly I feel I feel so so I don't even know like I just feel so blessed because it's only been I think three months and you guys have been there with me since day one since I first put on my first video and I have lipstick on my teeth <laughs> ah. anyway so I'm just so thankful and I'm so so happy that you guys like my content there's so much more coming I'm working hard to get to where I know I can be and what I really want to achieve and I have these goals and I, I'm set to them and I'm going to achieve them um, I'm so 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 happy and thank you guys so much for all your support on everything on Twitter Instagram snapchat thank you for sending me these sweet messages you guys send me and they're just so sweet and I try to comment back to you guys as much as I can like it just is so much sometimes but Thank you so much thank you and trust and believe there's going to be a 50k giveaway okay so i know i said that there's going to be a 20k giveaway there is still a 20k giveaway i promise i just want to get all the products for you guys that i know you guys will love um but now i've reached 50k and it's just like oh my gosh so fast it's happening so fast so i'm going to do a giveaway for both of them i'm actually going to I don't know if I want to do it under these comments or my Instagram comments um, of who I'm going to choose the winners for. So there's going to be two giveaways so you guys can enter. Um, and I'm just I'm so excited. I just I just love you guys so much and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I could just hug everyone. Just hug everyone. Um, so yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh wait. I just want to let you know. I swear, speaking into existence. Can be a very good thing i tweeted that if you guys follow me on twitter you guys would have saw that i tweeted that and i said that i will have 50 i i i believe i will have 50k by the end of next week it is only tuesday it's only tuesday it's not the, even the end of this week so thank you guys so much but yeah enough enough of that if you guys want to see how i achieve this look keep on watching okay so you guys already know the drill what goes first my primers and i'm using my Smashbox and Too Faced hangover primer these together just really make my makeup last all day this Too Faced one is very moisturizing and the Smashbox one is very um it erases your pores pretty much literally um so when i mix these two together i always go in with the Too Faced first to moisturize then i go in with my Smashbox Okay, and then I'm going to be spraying my face with this Pure Hydrating Mist. For foundations, I've been loving these two together. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And I'm in the shades 108 and 19. I mix these together and it gives me my pretty much perfect shade. It's a little story. So, I've always been a luminous, dewy type of foundation, not matte at all. I tried these a long time ago. I actually tried this shade right here which is number 107 and it was way too light so I just didn't go back and I was like mm, matte I don't know like matte and the color is way too light no I'm not feeling it. So I was I was like no not even about to try this out again but then I was like you know what it's pretty hot in Florida you get sticky you get your foundation when it's dewy just be looking super dewy like 
you just a big old grease ball. So one of the girls that I met while working with BoxyCharm, WD Makeup, that's her name on Instagram, and, and she told me about it and I was like, you know, I do have it at home, I just never really tried it. And I came home and I was like, okay, let me play around with it. And literally, I don't know if I'm gonna start, I don't know if I like Matt or Dewey better now. Honestly, I don't know. And I'm gonna be going in with my super huge beauty blender. Got this from Ulta, and this just applies your makeup super fast. I got this idea from Symphony Soda. I was like looking at her video, I'm like, dang, that's a big old beauty blender. But I was like, let me give it a try because I already like the regular one. This one is like my new fave. So, as usual, you guys know I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape to conceal and tan sand, and also my Cogendo Moisture Fit Concealer in the shade. Zero 04 and I like to go in with both colors because the shape tape and tan sand just really conceals it really doesn't give me the highlight but when I go in with my Cogendo moisture fit concealer it's that very yellow like brightening color but it's not super brightening which I don't really like that super brightening highlight look so oh my gosh it's just it's the combination is perfect Okay, so you guys are going to think I'm super extra for this step. <laughs> so for my powders, I'm going to be going in with two powders. And this is the Cogendo powder, and this is an illuminating natural lighting powder. And I like this because it is illuminating. It gives you that, I don't know, when I take pictures, I just feel like it really gives me that illuminous look. So I like to set under my eyes with this one. But then I like to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me translucent or... It's not really translucent but then it kind of is like it still gives a little color but not really and I'm going in with light medium and I like to go under just literally my under my eyes that's it so I go in first with my Cogendo one with my damp beauty blender and also I'm using the Cogendo to set my forehead and my chin and I'm not baking because this is a matte foundation. So you want it to look as luminous as it can. And I do also use a Cogendo one. I'm like forgetting. And I do also use this Cogendo one to set my smile lines. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me to set right under my eyes. I don't know why I do this, honestly. I just did it and I like the outcome. So I'm like, I'm going to do the exact same steps. And then what I like to do is take this Moto Pro um, powder brush to wipe this away and as well as my smile lines. Okay, so I'm going to go do my brows off camera and then I'll be back to finish the rest of my face. Okay, so my brows are done and I already set my lids with my primer and I used my MAC Soft Ochre paint pot to prime my eyes and then I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me in light medium to set my lids as well. And then as usual, you guys know for the brows, if you are new to my channel, I do have an eyebrow tutorial and I will link that in the description box below so you guys can watch that. So now onto the face. I am gonna be trying this NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the shade Espresso. Hey, that's funny. That's the same color as my LA Girl one. <laughs> but I'm going to be trying this. It's just like a foundation stick. You just roll it up, but I'm using it to contour. I'm gonna take this Moto Pro BMX 250 chisel brush to chisel out my contour. And I like to go in an upward motion just so that product can really blend into the skin. Okay, so with this product, I noticed a little goes a long way. I did use a lot more on this side than this side. Um, I really like this side a lot better. 
this side I, can, I mean I can fix it and make it a little more subtle but I mean so far I like it. it's pretty much the same color as my LA girl one and then for the nose I'm still gonna use the same brush okay so far I like this contour the, the stick for the contour and so far it goes with my my bronze look I like to go for on a daily basis and as usual I'm gonna go with my butter bronzer next and then I like to just take some more and tap it into the skin and then I'm gonna go in with my BH cosmetics satin bronzer and totally tan I kind of like to focus it right up here so we can darken it just a little so you can get that sharp Okay, and then I'm gonna go with my Milani Baked Bronzer and Soleil. You guys already know how much I love this. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. brush. I forgot, I think this is the complexion brush. I believe that's what it's called. And this just warms my face up just a little more. I mean, it looks pretty warm now, but I'm extra. And then I do like to go back in with my butter bronzer to set my nose contour. And then to sharpen my nose contour out a little bit more, I'm going to be using my, my damn beauty sponge to kind of just clean it up a little. And then I like to use that stuff because I normally always do have a little bit of powder left. So I like to put this on there because my nose, when it's really hot outside, can get pretty sweaty. So I like how there's a little bit more powder on there. And more in person, you can tell that it's more clean. I mean, you can still tell on camera. Um, but once I set it, with my sprays I'm not gonna be looking as matte but I mean look already like this is pretty flawless like I am loving this foundation and I know you're about to be like brown really now I'm gonna go with my air spun powder that's three powders I've used now so now I'm gonna go with my air spun powder but I'm only using this to clean up my contour oh my gosh Y'all know how much trouble I've had with this. It makes a mess every single time. Literally just a big old clump just blew out. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there because it's everywhere. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna finish. I don't even know why I closed it. I'm just gonna take my sponge and just dip it in there and clean it up. And then I'm just going to take my same brush that I cleaned up my other powders with to wipe this away. Like, I just love this part. It's so satisfying. It's so, like, yes, snatched. <laughs> and then now, of course, I'm going to go with my Milani Big Bronzer and Luminosa. And lately, I've really been liking the blush look. Like, I'm literally doing the same routine with the face as I did in the picture I have with that striped shirt on with like the choker type um, that I wore when I went to the Botsy Charm luncheon. Now I'm gonna go in with my Pure Miracle Mist again just to set all these powders that I've put on my face. The lighting has changed once again. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry y'all, y'all just gotta work with me. I'm sorry. Powders everywhere. Okay, so for the eyes today, I'm going to go in with this Modern Matte. It has 28 colors. Eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. It's beautiful. Look at these beautiful colors. They're just so beautiful. Look, you have transition shades. You have colorful shades. You have your new neutral shades. You have, a, like, every color you need in this palette. Okay, so for my transition shade, I'm just going gonna go in with this color right here. It's like a, it's like a brown taupe type of color. I'm gonna go in with this peachy color right here. And then because I wanted to give me that kind of cut crease effect. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here just because this lightish pinkish salmon color just because I kind of want that cut crease effect so I'm gonna do that right on my lid and 
then I'm gonna go back in with the brush I originally was using to kind of to blend it together. And I'm gonna move on to my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that both my eyes are done, for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics number eight brush and I'm just gonna be using this peach color that I use for the top lid for my bottom lash line. Okay, you see this is a very soft, like, soft look, which I'm really liking. You guys know I like my soft look. So I'm going to go up, put on some mascara and some lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, you see I'm back, and I haven't put my lashes on yet. But I actually think I want to be a little extra and go in with this BH Cosmetics Club Tropicana 28 Color Foil Eyeshadow Palette. Yes, I know I'm extra. And I want to go in with this pretty color oh you can't really see it but it's like a peachy peachy gold um so i think i'm gonna go in with that color on the lid part right here just to give it a little more pop and i'm gonna wet my elf brush and spray it with my hydrating mist just to wet it just a little bit so i actually think i'm gonna try to go in with my finger oh yeah going with my going in my finger really picks up the pigmentation I've noticed if you go in with your finger with a lot of these shimmer shades with any palette you get, it picks up so much more product and it shows way better. It just gives you that really foil look. And then I'm going to go back in with my elf brush just to get in the corners. Okay, so now I'm going to go do my other eye and pop on some lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so now I put my lashes on and the lashes I use are the Dodo Lashes in number D316. I love these lashes. I've had these lashes forever. I've used these lashes, I think, over five times now, and they're still in great tack. I do have a coupon code, and I will put it right here. Um, and I also will put it down in the description box as well so you can get some money off. So I did put my bottom mascara on as well, and I did use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. You guys know this is my holy grail. I love this stuff. Okay, so now we need to set my face again and get it prepared for the highlighter. My favorite Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this pure hydrating spray once again. Have you guys noticed I've been spraying my face with bottom mascara on? I've been very brave lately. Very brave. So we're just gonna let this seep into my skin. But while we're doing that, I want to show you guys a product that I bought today that I'm so excited to show you guys. It's so affordable. <sighs> You're going to love it. I don't know if you guys heard of this brand, but Rare by Flower, they sell this brand in Walmart. And this is a highlighting palette. It comes with three shades. And it also comes with this little brush right here, but I'm not going to be using this brush because, I mean, I'm not really a big fan. So it comes with three beautiful shades. I wish you guys could see it better. Okay, so there you go. Very beautiful for all skin types. Beautiful. So I'm going to be using this palette to do my highlight. But actually, I'm missing a step. Okay, this part, you guys might be shook a little. So this is an e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Molted Liquid Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow in liquid gold, okay? Let me take it out of the package so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. But I'm going to put this on as a base for my highlighter. So, let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Literally shook right now. Wow. So, I'm going to take my finger just to blend that in. Literally shook. And look, you still have that glow. That is, this is an eyeshadow, you guys. It was like $3. Ah! Okay, so now I'm going to do my highlighter. But first, I want to show you guys these brushes I got. So cute. It's by Moto Pro. Um, and it is the Insta Glow package set. And it's um, a quick contour highlight and glow brush stick. So I'm going to take the highlight one out of here so I can apply my highlight. Okay, so this is the highlighting brush. It's super soft. It's like perfect for applying highlighter and both of those brushes 
for like eight dollars at walmart so we gonna try and we are actually i'm going to apply this highlighter first without wetting it to see how pigmented it is on my face i did swatch it in the store to see how pigmented it was and on my hand it was pigmented so i'm going to go in with this lighter one and then this gold one. Ooh, did y'all see that fall out okay let's see oh 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 <laughs> Y'all know I get excited about this part. Oh my gosh. Wow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow. So I'm going to be extra and wet my brush. <laughs> I'm going to go in with both shades. literally though what is life right now what is this this is just magic wow how bomb literally how bomb amazing literally so now i'm just gonna take some and put it on my nose beautiful right here on my bridge of my nose and then also on my brow bone and also on the cupid's bow and then i'm gonna do some in my inner corner as well and i'm going to use this same palette but with the pink shade wow just beautiful and then i'm gonna go in with my pure mist again Okay, so now that that is on my face, I want to go in with my Tatcha Luminous Spray for, and it's dewy, it's a dewy skin mist. And I want to go in with this because this is a matte foundation. I do want to look glowy, and I did use this in my step when I did use this foundation the other day. And you just want a little bit, a little bit of like two sprays goes a long way. Two sprays goes a long way, and it wasn't even spraying on my face. Okay, that was a little more than two sprays but it's okay then what I like to do is go in with my beauty sponge and press it into my skin and then for lips I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline vivid hot lacquer I believe that's how you pronounce it in the shade unreal This is just such a beautiful lip gloss color. I love it. And that completes the look. Ooh, super glowy, super easy, super bomb. And a lot of these products were very affordable. A lot of drugstore, a lot of affordable. I did use some high-end products, but it's okay. Because there are other alternatives out there that you can use. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, comment down below, you guys already know. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I will list everything down below. Don't forget to follow me on there because that's where I put a lot of new products that I get. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.